in this video some of the research areas in mathematics are given what is research in mathematics it is the process of finding answers to questions in mathematics these questions might have applications to daily life or they might be studied solely due to their intrinsic interest now once the word research get into your mind the first question that arises will be uh, why do i do research so for that you can give yourself check and just uh, find out whether out of interest or passion that uh, uh, the research is to be carried out if that is the case then uh, you will definitely feel the research journey to be more enjoyable and less stressful but if it is need based then your concentration will be in completing the target in good amount of time now whatever may be the reason once you have thought of doing research the natural question will be how do i choose my research area so for that here are the choices you may choose your um, uh, theoretical or pure mathematics or you may choose your applied mathematics so but we all know that uh, theoretical mathematics expresses truths that are independent of the physical world it gives basic concepts and develops a theory and um, uh, in the case of applied mathematics it expresses physical truth in a mathematical framework and it works on problems by formulating and studying mathematical models now some researchers may feel that once i choose uh, uh, theoretical uh, mathematics up to certain level it goes then they may start feeling that i should have chosen applied mathematics but there is no need to worry that because what is theoretical now becomes applied later so without any worries you can carry out your research work now we'll give broad classification in theoretical mathematics that is uh, um, it could be your uh, area could be either algebra which is the study of uh, discrete aspects of mathematics then comes your analysis which is the study of continuous aspects of mathematics and then comes the geometry which is the study of curves surfaces and their higher dimensional analogs now we will see a few topics in each of them so first we will um, not all that we are going to mention very few in each category that uh, we are going to have first we will have uh, broad topics in algebra uh, algebra in algebra you can have uh, uh, bck algebra of uh, algebra kakmodi algebra lie algebra and me algebra galois groups lattices ordered algebraic structures associative rings near rings hyperalgebraic structures ternary algebraic structures category theory varieties and morphisms number theory elliptic curves modular forms and combinatorics now as for uh, uh, analysis is concerned you can have uh, univalent functions harmonic analysis operator theory fractals complex dynamics riemann surfaces and functional analysis now coming to uh, broad topics in uh, geometry we have uh, projective geometry differential geometry analytic geometry topology algebraic topology manifolds and differential topology now if you are uh, having applied mathematics then uh, we can have the topics to be graph theory operations research numerical analysis differential equations probability and statistics actuarial mathematics theoretical computer science cryptography computational biology um if you are going to have um, some engineering topics then it may include uh, computational fluid dynamics wavelets and mathematical ecology biofluid dynamics now another interesting area of research is fuzzy mathematics in which fuzzy sets and their concepts are applied to both pure and applied mathematics to get nice results uh, for more detailed topics you can log on to this uh, link and in which uh, mathematical sciences classification system is uh, given now uh, 
we'll have uh, that um, what, are, what could be the strategies for uh, developing a research topic now first you have to have your area of interest of course for that intuition plays a role and um, you can now uh, uh, choose your uh, broad topic i mean you can see the broad topic from the resources available and then um, uh, once you have the broad topic you just start working on its um, background you search for the background and even for that resources are available and then um, from uh, once the background search is done from that you'll be able to narrow down uh, to a particular topic and then uh, you will uh, start doing uh, research in depth and all these are uh, definitely your job purely your job and uh, once that is done a unique research topic you will definitely get and that is actually the fruit that you reap out of the above steps in chart doing research will be very challenging but at the same time it can also be immensely rewarding and intellectually satisfying plant the seeds of hard work and you will reap the fruits of success so wish you a happy research journey thank you